Hey guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to another Gears 5 video. Today we are going to be discussing Operation 2 Content Tease with an all new free for all mode. Baird and Lizzie Carmine are characters confirmed in a Gears 5. With the launch Operation 1 approaching its end as teased in the Toro Duty menu being a week 11 of 12 at the time of recording this video, which will end up being a December 2nd. TC have been keeping it quiet on everything in the new operation until earlier today when they made the announcement of all announcements. Recently, the official Gears of War Twitter account shared the news of Operation 2 being focused on free for all by tweeting out the following. Operation 2 Free For All beginning December 11th hashtag Gears 5 including an incredible image that I personally think is one of the best that we've ever received which represents a free for all in the real true Gears fashion by pitting the new gen versus the old gen with the characters Lizzie Carmine on the left wielding a talon pistol against a wiser veteran of war armoured Damon Baird at the ready with a combat knife. Now of course I am hyped for this news like let's go man is gassed! I've been saying for the longest time now how Operation 2 needs to come out with a bang and deliver something like free for all and it's only gone and is happening. Shortly after the announcement, TC then have gone on to release the next weekly What's Up on Perfect Timing. With even more details on what to come in Operation 2, they go on by saying the following. The news is finally out there. Free for all will be making its return as part of the aptly named Operation 2 Free for all on December 11th, 2019. Free for all will be joined by the arrival of heroes Lizzie Carmine and Baird as part of this huge update. That includes new characters and maps and modes, more than just free for all and more. We'll reveal all of the details next week. As just mentioned, it is now official that so far as of right now, we know that Operation 2 is releasing a Wednesday, December 11th, 2019. One of the new game modes included is Free For All. Heroes Lizzie Carmine and Armored Damon Bear confirmed to be arriving as well also on the same day, meaning that yes, an opportunity for many more character skins for both Lizzie Carmine and Baird in the Toro Duty and store. Now back in September, TC released a roadmap detailing Operation 1, which of course we've now virtually experienced. Experience, but also the second half of the first six months of Operation 2 containing new versus modes, new maps, escape hives and map builder tiles, characters with unique abilities, weekly events and supply content, 200 plus customization items. Apart from Free For All, Lizzie Carmine and Baird announced today, there is possibly a few other things we may know about Operation 2 that I do believe could also show up in the next operation. Firstly, it was confirmed last month in October that the Onyx Guard would be arriving as an earnable character skin as mentioned in the October 16th, 2019 What's Up. Speaking of character skins, we know you've been keen to get your hands on the Gears 5 Onyx Guard. In our next Tour of Duty coming in December, which we now know is December 11th, you can earn the Onyx Guard skin for the COG gear. The wait is almost over for Gears fans. With the COG gear character that was part of the Operation 1 drop having both male and female skin variants, does that mean that the Onyx Guard will also get the same treatment? And yes, it will as confirmed by Octus on the Coalition Developer livestream. Oh, uh, someone also said, uh, since Onyx Guard is confirmed for Operation 2, will there be a female Onyx Guard 2? Yes, you will get male and female Onyx Guard. Yeah. Recently, a Gears of War player experienced a lobby bug glitch where the entire lobby's character icon was changed to represent the classic Damon Bear character skin. The OG classic Delta Squad is of course expected over time as the new base characters get added. While we don't know if Lizzie, Carmine and Baird are the only COG heroes arriving at the start of Operation 2, which of course we all hope isn't the case, back in June earlier this year E3 for the reveal of the Escape game mode, during an IGN exclusive Facebook live streaming being the first to broadcast the brand new cooperative game mode, their character selection menu did include Lizzie, who has now been outright confirmed to be arriving on December 11th. It did also include the face of Garen Paddock, as seen during Act 3 of the Gears 5 campaign. With the confirmation of a campaign at Carmine is seeing Paddock exist to some degree around the same time that the UIR Major could be close to debuting as well. Armored Cole has been also featured already in the game as part of the multiplayer map Asylum Easter Egg appearing to dance on top of the ongoing passing train once activated. I feel like at least getting the base characters that did appear in the Gears 5 campaign really needs to happen much sooner rather than later. 
It was also accidentally revealed on the Kurdishan official developer live stream that Node Zero, the multiplayer design director, that his favourite multiplayer character to play as in Gears 5 is not just the Cantus, but the all new, unannounced, not revealed yet, possibly Swarm Cantus. And uh, I think like the Cantus, like especially the new one, I just, I love playing the Cantus. I, uh, I literally can't wait to. Uh keep playing as Mac, like I need I need as much Mac in my life as I can get. Yeah. And uh, right now I'm just playing with this skin because it's awesome and I just got it out of tour. I got to Wait, did I just announce a character? No. No. No, no. no you weren't talking about anything. But the um oh we got eliminated. But by saying that you've now people making people think you've announced a character. No, you were talking about Mira from Gears 4. No, I was talking about the Cantus. Of oh, the Cantus. No you didn't announce a character. Yeah. Okay. No. New multiplayer maps are pretty much a given on what to expect from them. However, what we don't really know is TC's stance on bringing back old maps, especially those made by Epic Games, until at least seeing what Operation 2 does bring. It is possible that it might just be an exception, but it looks like the iconic gridlock could be an upcoming multiplayer map based on a tweet back in February 2019. Earlier in the year when everybody was waiting on Gears 5 news, drop myself included, which didn't really happen until E3 2019, Phil Spencer visited the Kurdish studio in Vancouver, Canada, where he tweeted an image of the Hollow Playtest Lab, where TC developers were playing on a map that at the time it wasn't really noticeable, but Lewis almost recently cracked it. As you can see on screen, the gridlock overhead from Gears of War 4 lines up perfectly with the map radar as seen in the match. Being in the cafe part of the map, you can see the resemblance with the far right being the sniper tower. Lastly, Esport Gears has just announced that there will be side tournaments taking place at the upcoming San Diego LAN event in California based on the upcoming new game modes by tweeting out the following. The San Diego Major just got even better. Prize pool increase. Two official tournaments 2v2 plus free for all. Play Gears 5, 2v2 and free for all before anyone else. With the main theme of Operation 2 bringing free for all, it does look like 2v2 will also be making its return, which is great for those who maybe enjoy that style of gameplay. While this is just a first peek at Operation 2 and the big old grand reveal next week, as TC dive deeper into what we can expect with full details on everything, it does show what the Coalition Studios interests are when it comes to rolling out these major Operation updates. Announcing Operation 2 with this connection to a major feature known as Operation 2 Free For All, I can personally see this meaning that each operation would be tied to including one huge addition to Gears 5 that serves as the overall theme of the upcoming content. I can see the next operation around March being based on like a wingman, with then Operation 4 to be around June time, bringing something maybe like Beast Mode or even Overrun. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What is your opinion on the upcoming Operation 2? Now that we've had an Onyx Guard skin, Heroes, Lizzie, Carmine and Baird, as well as Free Fruit and 2v2 confirmed to be coming in at Gears 5. So there you have it guys, full details on Operation 2 content teased. New Free Fruit mode, Lizzie, Carmine, and Baird and so much more in Gears 5. Give the video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I shall see you in the next one.